Makode! 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 Doctor! Doctor! Hey! Ryan! Ryan! Mama called them! No! Hey! 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 My husband! Bring me there!
Devi! Vicky! Come back to life. Vicky, I'm so sorry. I was just lost in thought for a minute. What's up? Yeah, I know. Ever since I've known you, you always lost me tough. Okay. How can you say anything like that now? I'm sure you're kidding me. Actually, I'm not. Debbie, talk to me. What is the matter with you? Vicky, I am fine. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> My friend, quit being a curious cat and tell me what the matter is. What is it? Nothing much. Um, Mrs. Zoe said we can close on time. Like we can close right now. That's strange. Do you know why? I don't know, and I do not care. Yeah, I'm glad she did, because I have some errands to run. Well, me, on the other hand, I am tired. I need to go over the rest. Then get your bag, let's go. Yes, baby, just give me a minute. Don't forget your phone. Sure, I won't. What is it? Why are you swallowing like that? Because I don't want to eat again. Don't want to eat again. Don't you know that vegetables will make you stronger? Don't you know that? Tell me, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Vegetables make me grow so much that you will stop calling me. <laughs> Little man. See, no matter how tall and big, Grandma will always call you her little devil. Mama, please now. Let's not talk about it. Okay, okay. Debbie, please do me a favor. What? Stop having it out of this little boy. It is not his fault. None of whatever happened is his fault. No, Mama. That is where you're wrong. Because it is his fault. Yes. It is his fault that I'm in this what misfortune I am today. As a matter of fact, I hate him. Because the sight of him reminds me of, of my pain. Debbie! Debbie! My God. I can't understand you. I really can't. I don't believe, I don't believe that you have such anger in your heart about your own son. But you are wrong here. You are totally wrong. Ah. It was Brian that died and left you a widow. Not my grandson. And definitely not your son. If I had not gotten pregnant in the first place, he wouldn't have been born. And I would have moved on with my life like every other young girl out there. Instead of being labeled with this invisible label of, of, of a second hand good. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to you anymore. But I want to tell you that. This bitterness that is in your heart. It is you and you alone that can heal yourself of this bitterness. I want to remind you that you are not being fed to that boy. And I want to say that I don't want you to disturb that boy again. Stop hurting him. He's not your problem. He is a victim too. He is innocent. Please. Stop hurting me. Stop hurting my cats. Who was on? I was saying you have made a very good choice. Debbie is a very good girl. And I know marriage will suit both of you perfectly well. Definitely approve of this one. And trust me, she's an angel. You definitely love her. Of course I will approve. In fact, I have already approved. Thank you very much, Ma, for approving. I love your son very much and I promise to make him very happy. I know you will, my dear. I know you will. Mom, there is there's one more thing I need to let you know. And it's something that I wouldn't want you hearing from an outsider. Let her tell you myself. And uh, what could that be, son? Mom, the thing is, 
Debbie here has a six-year-old son from her previous marriage. But unfortunately, her husband died, you know. But it doesn't matter, it's not a problem. What? You mean Debbie is a widow? Is that what you're telling me, son? God! Come on, come on, it, it doesn't matter. I love her, she loves me. Of course it does! Don't tell me that trash! sound like it's uh, possible. It's not. I mean, it's written nowhere that being a widow is a crime. Is it Debbie's fault that she's a widow? Come on, mom, come on. But a widow is second-hand goods. Tokumbo, that's what she is, Tokumbo. Not only Tokumbo, she only on top came with her excess baggage. And so, don't tell me you are planning to marry her and has to take out some. Okay, you know what, mom, just, just calm down, okay? It's not like that, okay? Calm down, mother, it's not like that, come on. Even if you are not planning to take it before now, we cannot risk it. After all, who says that what killed the first husband will not also kill the second? Okay, you know what, no. Mom? It will not work. Mom, you know what? This is a woman that I love. I love this girl. I love Debbie. What do you want me to do? I love this girl. She has my heart. I love her. You can always find someone you will. If not more. Mom, I'm not hearing this right. I'm not listening please, to this right now. Please, my son. Mom, I love them. I can love is natural. Yeah. Debbie, baby. I want I want to say something to you. It's it's really important, but but I don't know how to bring myself to say this to you. You know, you and I, it's we cannot. It's my mother. Ask you not to marry me, right? Is that what you're finding difficult to say to me, Kenny? Baby, it's not like that. Look, Come on. Look, look, Kenny, there's really no point making excuses. Because the other day at your house, I overheard everything your mom said about me. You did? Yes, I did. But you know what? I really don't blame her. And I don't blame you either. It's just that I had hoped and thought that this love of ours would overshadow my past. But I guess I was wrong. Baby, listen, okay? Listen, I'm the man here, okay? It's not my mother. Listen to me, baby. Kenny, Kenny, please, please, baby. please. There's really no need for all this right now. Don't add salt to my injury. Thank you very much. Thank you very baby, much for ruining my hope and my dreams baby, of a two years old relationship. Baby. Thank you. Baby. Baby. Don't worry yourself. I'm cool with it. <laughs> you know that's why I'm crazy about you, right? You know there's no better thing dating a lady who understands the rules of the game. I mean, it's life's so Oh yeah? Sure, baby. Well, baby, promise me you will make it up to me. Okay? Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you so, so much. Kisses. Mwah. <laughs> hey, hey, now wow, Vicky B. Don't tell me you've been on the phone for over an hour with that mysterious boyfriend of yours. What can I say, baby? I love my boyfriend so, so much. I know you know how that feels. No, I don't. Debbie, did I say anything wrong? Vicky, you didn't say anything wrong. Sorry. Forgive me, okay? I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Yeah, sure. I'm already used to your unpredictable mood swing. Yeah. No, don't mention all need of your apologies. But trust me, all that jargon I was saying about loving my boyfriend, I don't love him more than I love his pockets. Thank you. Yes? You, you're totally crazy. Ah, ah. Babe, Papa. now you sabi. No money, no love. In your voice. Are you sad? <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, can you come to my workroom now? Sure. Okay, and um, you, Vicky, you can join us for. Well. Oh, okay. Let me know what you think.
Um, what do you think? Is it really beautiful or not? This is beautiful! You? What do you think? Debbie. Debbie! Debbie! Say something and stop looking oh, like a moron. Okay, the dress, yes. Um, I think it's beautiful, Mrs. Zoe. <laughs> Mrs. Zoe, <laughs> trust me, I would really say you really have done yourself this time around. Look at this lovely dress. And look at the expression on Debbie's face. I know she's dying to put it dress. Hmm? Me? No, no, Mrs. Zoe. That's not true. Debbie, I actually had you in mind when I was designing this. Now listen, I want you to go in there and try it on. Let me see how it looks like. Me? Yes. Try this dress on. I'm sorry, Mrs. Zoe. I, I can't I do that. Insist. Go in there and try it. Let me see how it looks like. Yes, yeah, they stop pretending like you're not dying to put on this dress. Debbie, you have the bosses and all that coming from boss, madam. Let's go. I will help you put it on. Oh! Mrs. Zoe, this is so heavy. Come, let me help you. I'll help you put it. I'm sorry, nephew. I'm sure she didn't see you. And you, go in and remove that dress. Speaky, huh? Ask this to talk to you later. Okay, boss lady. Have a seat. Thank you very much. Hello? Oh my goodness, you're still there? Oh my goodness. Debbie! Debbie! What was that drama all about? What drama? Oh, please don't give me that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Why did you rush out in tears? I mean, if the wedding dress has an effect on you like this, what will happen when you take your wedding vow? Okay, you can tell me you know. You see? I didn't hear that. Hmm? Hmm? Nothing. See, just losing up the dress. I need to get out of the control. Just losing it. Calm down, Debbie. You're acting like this wedding dress is biting you. Hurry up now. Debbie, can you stop vibrating? Okay, just hurry up. I 
Then you have it. Thank God. Where's my dress? Relaxing. Now tell me, Auntie, what's the story behind the runaway bride? What runaway bride there? Eh? Auntie, you know who I'm talking about. The lady that knocked me off the way while fleeing only God knows what. Oh, you mean uh, Debbie? Yes, if that's what her name is. What happened? Well, she stood up by her fiancé while you were the dress test or probably the guy just decided to call up the wedding. Richie dear, what a white imagination you have. Auntie, you must agree with me. That lady was looking very much agitated. Oh, yes, she was. And I'm still wondering why. Well, Auntie, who is she? Debbie, she's one of my assistants. It was her figure that made me decide that dress. And I asked her to try it on. The next thing she did, she took off almost in tears. Up till now, I don't even understand what the problem is. Then whatever it is, it must have been very intense. She was terrible. I swear, Auntie, she practically knocked my head off the way while I was trying to help her steady. Um, I'm sorry about that, dear. I'm okay. I have a very thick skin. Very immune to <laughs> enraged female. I trust you. Anyway, that just um by the way. So how was your trip that picture? It was awesome. Yeah. All the dignitaries were there. I'm sorry, Mrs. Zoe. I shouldn't have run off the way I did wearing the gown. I don't know what I would have done if I had ruined it. Debbie, the problem is not that you would have run the gown. But your reaction was too bad. I realized I behaved very badly. I guess I was upset. Why was that? Your reaction was so alarming. To understand that I'm safe, that you have to rub it off on my nephew who was trying to help you. I'm sorry, Mrs. Zoe, if your nephew had told you already. Believe me, I didn't mean to be rude. I know that you're very nice, Lizzie. That was why I hired you in the first place. Don't allow your progress to affect your attitude at work, especially your relationships with the customers. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. I promise it will never happen. Judging by the look on your face, I guess the meeting didn't go well. My dear, it's not some yeah yeah for cool people that will not keep their mouth shut. Whoa, take it easy. Who got you so pissed like this? <laughs> Is that uh, Mrs. Zoe's cousin, I mean, uh, the one I bumped into earlier today, I remember. Oh, you mean the handsome hot dude? Ah! But Debbie, come to think of it. What did that guy do to deserve this, your anger? My dear, the guy just went running to his auntie to complain to him that I was rude to him. And you need to have seen how Mrs. Zoe was just giving me a long lecture about customer relationship. My dear, I beg you. Oh, take it easy, Debbie. But trust me, I don't think you should blame the poor guy like that. Mm. Maybe, maybe he didn't even say it that way, yeah? Mm. Mm. But tell me the truth. Where are you mm. Just a little. Ah. Ah. Hello, lady. Talk of the devil. Hi. Please, can I give you guys a lift? I'm sure you guys are going out. Oh, well, no, thank you. You don't accept me from strangers, huh? right? Are you sure? Uh, excuse you. Talk for yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Are you sure you don't want to come? No, thank you. So, what's wrong with your friend? I don't know. I don't think you like that. I don't think you like that. Really? Okay, yeah, let's go.
just as the man who loves his job. Hi, Frank. Well, that's for me. I'm leaving. I need to see Susie on time because I promised her that I'll be coming over early. Besides, I need to get to that site to see how the job is going on before going home. Okay, cool. No problem. I will stay in and work a little longer. For what now? Today's supposed to be a wedding anniversary. And so, what's the big deal? Anniversaries come everywhere. So what? Wow. <laughs> Can you ever get serious? But even even they know that anniversaries are first thing. Yeah, oh my God. Good. That should be Jen calling you to remind you that it's time. Wrong yet, friend. Wrong yet. So who's that? Vicky. Vicky. The lady I told you about. Today of all days, sometimes I, it amazes me the kind of risk you take. Oh. I just hope you know what you're doing. Right. I was waiting for this man. I was constructed well for this game. This is my stuff. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Okay. It's the game player. <laughs> Top striker. Keep playing. But please do me a favor. Just go home. Take Jen for a treat. Women love these things, you know. Come on. Bob! I hear you, friend. Ah, take care. Uh, and please, before you go for your games, <laughs> tell the, the security man to call the generator. Okay. Thank you. Once again. So what say you? Why not come over and have a steamy time in my bed? I really wish I could, but not today. Today is my wedding anniversary, and I promised my partner, Frank, that I will take my wife out for a treat. So can we do this another day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't say. <sighs> well, happy anniversary. Thank you. I must say it. I'm certain that you're going to have a ball in time to wish you a wife. So my offer still stands. Why not come over for a quick I'm sure you finish in time and watch back for your dinner or whatever you can do to have with your wife. Either your sweet wife or your friend will know about it. Baby, I know you're dying to know what is on the baby. My friend. So, baby, you better come over right now because I know you love it and I'll give it to you. Let me see how you're going to resist. Uh, 
serang kau tu ini, kau hati. Kau berapa hati? Alih itu mana tu deh? Kau semua. I let this one pass. I don't even know why I bother myself at all. Because I'm beginning to feel stupid thinking that these celebrations even mean something to you. Don't start. Don't start. Not this year as well. 
not when I have decided to make this anniversary a memorable one for once. Please don't stop. What's the use? The food has already gone cold. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry the food get cold, but I plan to take you out for a fun night. I. I'm having a wonderful time with the man I love so much. <laughs> That's all. And could it be the same man you spend long hours on the phone with? Exactly. Who else? <laughs> Come on, girl. But I thought you said you would never ever fall in love. Whatever mm -hmm. happened to that? It's more than his pocket. Yeah, yeah. I know what I said and I trust me, I still stand on that. My Bob, he is loaded. And that is all I'm loving about him. His pocket. Do you know, Vicky, you're totally shameless. You're totally shameless. <laughs> Whatever, Debbie. This is how I choose to live my life. You know? And you could do so if you want. With Mrs. Zoe's nephew. Mm -mm -mm. Please, please, don't, don't, don't even pick up. Don't get me wrong. Debbie, I don't know what is wrong with you, but I've noticed that you don't like guys around you. Reasons best known to you. But you can change your mind with Mrs. Zoe's nephew. The other day he just offered to give us a lift and you were very rude. I, I, I don't, just don't understand. Come on, Vicky. Don't tell me you, you've not even noticed the fact that that guy looks every age a playboy. You mean he's handsome, cute? <gasps> Debbie, you noticed! That means all moves are not lost, mm. Mrs. Ice Queen. <laughs> you know what? Just pretend. Did not interrupt your homie. Continue. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, Debbie. Debbie, come back to it. I don't know what is wrong with you. Listen, you need to fall in love. Yeah, and you need to be handsome, cute, loaded. Oh, man! Does he know what you led with emotions? Vicky, no, just go. What? I don't want to fall in love. I'm not going anywhere. I came here to just with you. I'm going to be here with you. Is it by force? It is by force, so you must fall in love. Yes. You must love a man. You either love his pocket or you love him. Me, as I'm loving his pocket, love the man. You must love somebody. anniversary again. Yeah, 
What are you trying to do? Huh? Hey. Oh, I don't to be awake anymore. Oh, come on, baby. I'll send Victor and Blessing to my mom's place so we have this house all to ourselves. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. Do you know, why don't you pour yourself a drink while I go upstairs and get myself beautiful for you? Somebody is feeling hot and sexy tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be waiting. child, my pride, incapable hands. Oh, Auntie, I also want you to know that I'm very glad that you gave me first consideration with the right management. 
and you're still the one designing the wedding gown. Of course, I'm going to make sure the house of Zoe remains the success that it has always been. Don't worry, I know you will. You have all it takes to make this place a huge success. Wow, Auntie, I'm really flattered. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I should be thanking you, Richie. At least now I can travel to Europe for my treatment. Knowing that House of Zoe is in safe hands. You have my 100% assurance on that, seriously. Oh, that's my Richie. <laughs> okay, if so, um, then let's go and break the news to the girls. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Yeah. I'm not lying. Vicky, you're lying. Wait. This nonsense. Vicky is black. This is maybe blue. You don't know colors. It looks like it. Girls, oh. I have good news. Oh, wow. Tell us about what Yes, boss lady. What's the good news? Um, I want to announce to you girls that the ownership of House of Soy has changed. Really? Yes. And, um, Richard here, my nephew, is the new owner of House of Zoe. What? Oh, that's a great news! I'm glad because I couldn't have left House of Zoe in a more capable hands. And um, I hope you girls will support Richard to make this place the success that you used to be. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Alright girls, now continue with what you're doing. <laughs> oh, this is the color. <laughs> He's so cute. So have you finally come to congratulate me as a new boss? Because when I think of it, you seem more disappointed and excited when we Zoe break the news. Yes, Mr. Richard, I have not come to congratulate you. On the contrary, I have come to tell them an explanation later. You can't be serious, Miss Debbie. Yes, I am serious, mm. Mr. Richard. If I may ask, why is this? Why? Why? Because you and I cannot maintain a good working relationship. That is why. Is that why? Yes, Mr. Richard. What are you afraid of, Debbie? I think I am not afraid of anything, and it is Miss Debbie to you, Mr. Richard. Wow. Could it be that you're scared of the chemistry? Between us, because ever from the very first day you bumped into me, you must have noticed, just like I did. Or is it possible you're scared of what might happen when we might take close contact in this office? Or possibly you're scared of this. Mr. Richard. I did the stupidest thing yesterday. Dumbest shit ever. You know? Big time. <laughs> How? What, for, for what exactly did you mean? In what era did you go? My anniversary night was yesterday. Yeah? I slept while Jane was upstairs. What? Just like that. How could it do such a foolhardy thing? I was tired. I was bloody tired. I had a glass of champagne and I just knocked out. My goodness. God, I mean, 
How much do you hate him? Say that, didn't he? A woman values are having this sweet love making sex or a thing in a waiting on the bed night, other than anything. I mean, it seems it gives them this kind of a assurance that uh, that love thing is still there. I know. But I didn't plan for it like that. I mean, I swear, that wasn't the plan. I was just tired. And I slept. Now, Jane thinks otherwise. She's got this film going on that there was somebody else taking care of that ass. Anyway. Well, 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 now. Uh, she's not wrong in that regard, is she? Frank, I didn't call you here to be my conscience. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's take my advice, man. You better get down on your knees if that's what it takes. I mean, apologize. Because Jane that I know is one that a million dick is out there. Yeah, you're right. Jane means a lot to me. I mean, she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I love her very much. But you know what to say? Man, shut up, dude. <laughs> sure I do, I understand. Uh, but you know, it's just with the cookies and the cakes and all the sweet things, you gotta get pop up and all put them together. But I think that is also insane. The goes are the sweetest things, are the things that kill fun. I mean big deal. We would eat it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we will die anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter what kills you. When it's your turn, you will die. Of course, Eat the sweet things and die. Something must be the man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, please. Do not think because I put up a fake smell in the room there. All is well between the two of us. I only did so because Victor is there, okay? Oh, are you wanting greeting? Good evening, our husband. Are you happy? I bought the pepper soup from the restaurant across the street. Can you join me? No, thank you. I'm not hungry.
It's been a while, right? Since you and I last made love. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Do you feel my body burning for yours? Hmm? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Richard, I'm fine. Debbie, we need to talk. Um, Mr. Richard, please, if it's not work related, then I am not interested. Oh, please dispense with the formality, Debbie. I don't expect you to keep me at arm's length after having kissed me the way you did. Oh, Mr. Richard. Richard, you know that kiss was a big mistake. Please, oh, you know no. it. I know nothing of so, Debbie. What I know is that I want you, okay? I need you so badly. I desire you, Debbie. Oh, Richard. I desire you like I have never for anyone in my life. Seriously. Mr. Richard, Mr. Richard, please. Please, I've been through so much in my life. I don't want to hurt you. I am not the best woman. I mean, this whole thing is happening too far. Shh. Look, I promise I will not hurt you. Trust me. Mr. Richard. Trust me. My phone. Forget about it. Richard is important. Uh, hello? Mrs. Kule? My, my son. Um, David is sick. You know what? I'll be on my way now, okay? Thank you so much. Um, Richard, please. I've got to go. Um, who is sick? My, um, my sister's son actually is sick and I, I need to go take him to the hospital. Is it right now? I'll come can be a I mean, you can't come with me. I can, baby, I insist. When you're okay. accused of one thing or another, never mind. And made to suffer, even when it's not your fault. And they know it's not, still they won't let you be, even though. You try to let them see. Excuse me, Davy. Please, I would love to take your son for his injection now. Oh, it's okay. And um, please, Richard, please, I'll have to go with him, please. Oh, please, thank you. You feel so. Richard, for paying David's hospital bill. You don't have to worry yourself about that, seriously. It's something I love to do for you. It's my first love now. Thank you, Steve. Now, tell me. Has Davis fever abated? Yes, it has, thank God. Yeah, we really have to thank God for that. Back in the hospital, I noticed something. All the nurses and doctors kept on calling you Davis, ma'am. Um, that, um, that's because myself and my mom raised David right from when he was a few months old. Really? Yes. You see, David is the son of my late elder sister who died with her husband in an accident. Ever since then, I've always stood in for him as his mother. So. Wow. That must have been very painful. I can imagine what it is to lose someone really, really close to the family. Yes. God. Bad. But that goes on. Wow. You'll be fine, okay? No more questions. Are you enjoying the food? Yeah, baby. Hmm? I love the food. <laughs> Don't of the bag you promised you'll get me. Don't come and lie here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Which bag did I promise you? I don't remember anything like that. Bag. You said you're gonna buy it for me. The black one, I think we picked up. Okay. 
We'll see how that goes. Okay. We will see how that goes. And then I probably just might, you know, if I think about it for a while. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, um, yeah. Um, hi, Clara. Yeah, it's been a while. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, tell me, how is Jane your wife? Who, Jane? Jane, uh, Jane is, she's doing fine. She's doing good. Okay. Don't forget to extend my greetings to her. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. I'll tell her. Okay. Thank you. Who the hell is that? Huh? Who is she? Who? Oh. The, the lady. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, Yes, sir. Madam, your lunch is ready. Excuse me. Thank you very much, waiter. Welcome. We'll sure drop you with a tea when we are leaving. Mm -hmm. It's good to see that all of you are so much in love with each other. <laughs> Thank you very much.
Debbie, Debbie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Debbie, see how you're blushing. <laughs> Tell me, how did your weekend go? <laughs> well, I had a fabulous weekend with Richard. I mean, girl, I'm falling in love. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Finally, the almighty queen has fallen. <laughs> Tebi, mm -hmm. so a man could actually melt your heart. Mm, well, you could say that. I mean, Richard literally melts my heart. Girl, I love him. I do. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Debbie. Thank I'm you. so, so happy for you. Trust me. But guess what? You're not the only one that had a wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm. My was marvelous. Ooh. My bump was on point. Oh, that's too good. That's good, my dear. I hope you say thank you to Uncle Richard. Like a good boy you are. I did. You did. Uncle Richard didn't touch. Oh, you did, Chow. You did. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, um, Yosef and Debbie, you are doing a great job raising me to Debbie. He's a very smart and well behaved boy. Oh, my God. Thank you. I'm flattering us. <laughs> All the same, you're welcome. For me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, a 
phone. Oh my god. But who told him I did? I gave my eye. To ask exactly what you would like from Debbie, and she gave me your card and your phone was back. So I thought it wise to get you a new one. Thank you, my My you God will bless you. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> anyway, Mama, I will take my leave right now if you don't mind. Of course, I do. Okay. Thank you very much, my dear. Okay, Good okay, David, come on. Give me a hug, my dear. Good boy. <laughs> Hold your seat. How are you, Sir Richard? I hope you'll come and take me out in Cambridge. Every day. I'll take you out every day, child, except you get tired, okay? okay. Be the good boy that you are, okay? <laughs> You're a good boy. Oh, my dear. Thank you, bye bye, 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 bye. Thank you, dear. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. You remember what I told you the last night? All right, high five. Hello? <laughs> Hi. Hello? Hi? No? Hi? Hi? You think you're too smart? No! No! Anna! You got me! Okay, your turn. Your turn. Ready? Ready? Hi! No, 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 no. Got you! I got you! Oh, oh hello, my little munchkin. How are you? Hi. Wonderful. Hello, baby. Hello. I wasn't expecting you home so early. Well, it's a Saturday. I can't stay home and spend with you. Oh, I see. Well, sorry if I'm not feeling the same way you are. A little bit, though. Come on. Go pick up Chidi and let's go upstairs. That's my boy. I have something. Baby, I think we need to talk. Talk about what? You know there's something wrong. I mean, you and I know, so let's stop pretending. I'm not sure what it is, but you've got this air of animosity towards me, and I just don't get it. <laughs> oh my god, please do not be ridiculous. You've always been ridiculous. You just decided to change towards because of your unfounded accusations. Unfounded accusations? Did you just call them unfounded accusations? Oh, Victor. Mommy. Well, listen. Mommy and I want to have a conversation, okay? So I need you to go downstairs and play with Auntie Betty for a second. Alright? When you go, play with her and I'll be there, okay? Alright? Alright, run along. Hurry up. Jane? Yes, there, what is it? My father told me to come and meet her with some ice cream. There's some ice cream in the fridge, I don't know what it is. You are nothing but a low life and a hypocrite. Baby, where is this from? Yes, Bob. And to think that I trusted you so blindly. That the love you profess you have for me could make you remain faithful to our wedding vows. But I have been faithful, baby. I swear it. Except you choose not to believe me. You could be liar. Stop pretending. Stop pretending. Would you just stop standing there lying to yourself? Because I know everything about your whole Vicky. Hey, Who? You, you what? And don't you dare try and lie. I see you've been talking to Clara, right? Clara's been feeding you all that nonsense. It's not nonsense, Bob. It's not. So you knew all this, well. The truth was just staring me right in the face. But I just chose to pretend that they weren't there. Come on, you don't know what you're saying, Jane. I swear to you, I've never cheated on you and I never will. Forget all that crap Clara's telling you. You do not 
I'm lying. Don't you stop lying? You have no idea what love is. Love means nothing to you. Oh, and just for your information, I met up with your whore Vicky, and she told me everything that I needed to know. So stop accusing people of force. I can't run some deep shit, man. I goofed again. I mean, if only I knew that I was going to run into Clara at the ETA, I never would have gone there with Vicky in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you supposed to know? You aren't psychic, are you? No, I'm not a psychic. I, I mean, I just should have known that Clara was going to run to Jane quickly to tell her that she saw Vicky and I in a compromising position. I, I just should have known that. Oh no. You mean Clara, your ex, who happens to be your wife's cousin, has found out your relationship between you and Vicky? What do you think I've been saying the whole time? Try to lie. Try to make better the mess. And she slapped me. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. So, Jane has found out that you've been cheating on her all the while. Clara told you. Jane went to another level to meet up with Vicky. To prove what point, I don't know, but she met up with her. Oh, how, how crazy can that be? So what are you going to do now? I don't know, Frank. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm just thinking. I don't know. I hate to see you like this. Please. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I never meant to hurt you this bad. Why? Why, Bob? Why did I go out? Haven't I been a good wife to you? Yes, you've been a good wife to me, and more. And I don't even know what else to say. And I don't have an excuse. I've just been a fool, that's what I've been. And I'm asking you to forgive me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I promise it's never gonna happen again. I really find it so hard to believe. I spoke to Vicky about it, and it's over. I went there, we discussed it, and all, all is done. I'm, I'm never going back down there again. Please. I just need you to give me another chance so I can prove myself. I, I just need you to forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
make one crazy pair, don't you think so? <laughs> yeah, I think so, but seriously, you should have allowed me to resign when I wanted to. I missed the lifetime opportunity of getting close to my baby. Yes. <laughs> Never. Never. Wait, seriously, 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 this is an office. And we need some sort of order around here. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay, baby, can we just sit and talk? Okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, like we were saying, you really don't have to do that because uh, I have made my decision to leave. To leave? Oh, yes. How? Why? Why are you going to? Maybe don't you think these are too many questions for me to answer in a minute? Amity, please, seriously, be serious. Where are you going to? I mean, who will be running this place when you leave? Okay, fine. Actually, I have stayed behind for this while because I wanted this company to be running so very smooth before I leave. Besides, you have also stood as a very irresistible distraction. Really? <laughs> so it's my fault now, right? It's my fault. God knows I was on my own, minding my business, when you came on God knows where to make me fall in love with you. And I'm so happy I succeeded because ordinarily, it is you and you alone that can run this place. And I've decided to make you the manager of Zoe. So you can run this place as perfectly as I want while I'm away. What? <laughs> Baby, I'm sure you're joking. You're not serious. I'm not joking. And I also mean to tell you that I've decided to open a separate account for little David, your nephew, for his training and upgrades. Baby, do, do you know what you're saying? And besides, see, I have grown so fond of that boy. I have made up my mind to train him to any length he wants, education-wise. I don't even know what to say. Maybe thank you so much. Thank you. Maybe thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're the best. I'm You're sure welcome. my mom will be so excited to hear this news. Baby, baby, what well, is it now? You should at least allow me to say welcome to my son, Richard. Thank you, that's it. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, you can go ahead and tell me this good news that has been okay. so excited. We are looking at the new manager of Sweet Hotel. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, Mama, it's all the doing of Richard here. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, Mama. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Huh? I know you are a blessing to this family. God bless the day my daughter set her eyes on you. Oh, wow, Mama, I should be the one saying that, seriously. <laughs> seriously, Mama, I have not been able to find an adjective to qualify how loving your daughter is to me. Seriously, she's been a blessing to my life. <laughs> you can't say because it is very, very good. And I thank God that she has finally found somebody else to love her the way she deserves. <laughs> yes, Mama. Mama, I'm so happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Yes, Mama. You can't imagine. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to I was only dragging a piece of iron that was somebody that was very big. If I knew had a sleep on my feet, I hit my head. It's a lie. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want oh to hear what I'm saying. I'm saying this guy is this. <laughs> yeah. Shit. These days, but one even tastes better than champagne. Mm, right. Anyway, um, baby. Mm. Can I ask you a question? Sure, baby. Okay. Can you do me the favor by closing your eyes? Close my eyes? Yes, baby, please. Close your eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed.
You can open it now. Maybe. Baby, will you marry me? So we can spend the rest of our lives loving one another. Please. Yes. Really? Yes, yes, I do. to hear the good news. I know, you will see. Okay. So then, anything to be the first to congratulate you. Oh, thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Oh, is, this, is that the result? Yes. Oh, please, can I have it? Oh, oh my God! Bob, you're going to be a father. Thank you very much. Oh, my Bob, it's going to be a father. Stop, kick. Stop, kick. Kick, kick. Stop, kick. Kick, 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 kick. kick. Let's go. Let's go. Stop, oh, your kick. Your phone is beeping. I'm sure it's not network provider and their dog messages. Yeah? What? Your phone. Ah. Oh. Yeah, Victor, keep playing. Keep playing, I'm coming. Yeah. Whew. There you go. What is that? What is it? Jane, Jane, what are you doing? Jane, what are you doing? What is this? 
Jane, what are you? You cannot be doing this, okay? You cannot be doing it. What are you doing? Are you really asking what I'm doing? Yeah. <laughs> I am leaving. I am leaving with my son. Something I should have done a long time ago, you bastard. But, but, but you cannot just up and leave over this little mistake, just like that. Little mistake? Is that what you're calling it? Yeah. A little mistake? Yeah. I'm calling it a little mistake because give me the chance to explain. At least let me explain something. This is so unfair. Can I just tell you what happened? Explain what? Hmm? Explain that. You've been cheating on me for God knows how long. Oh wait, explain the fact that I did not see when my own eyes what your girlfriend tested to you that she was pregnant and confused. Oh wait, maybe you want to explain to me why you could not use common sense to use a simple condom with a dirty child. Maybe that's what you want to say to me. Jane, you can't be going. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. This is a setup. A setup? Is that what you're calling it? A setup? You just confused as that confused girl. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the both of you to suffer your confusion. I think that's the best thing for right now. No confusion. Because I can see that you're a bitch. Jane, 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 come on. Come on. I can just... Baby, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? Jane! Jane! God bless me. God! You mean Jane has found out about Vicky's pregnancy? Oh, hell. But how could you do something that foolish as to pregnant a girl when you have a family? How do I know the condom would have failed me? Who said these things are hundred percent safe anyway? <laughs> you can't help being hilarious, bro. Hmm? The devil must have really had something against you as to mess you up like this. You can say that again. Tell me about it. Jen. So Jen has gone out of the home. I wish he comes out and then you to reconcile. I, I don't know about reconciliation. I don't know. She's not responding to my messages. I've been trying to see my son since. No response. Nothing. What did you expect? You hot hubble. You goofed big time. I just wish that I knew a way Turn the hands of time and just let all this just go away. I wouldn't know about turning back the hands of time, Bobo. But I know that you can put things under control by telling Vicky to go for an abortion. You wouldn't want to have a child outside the window, do you? What? Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Vicky, what is wonderful about being single and pregnant? Okay, I see. You're going to be marrying your baby's father, right? Not for me. Married. <laughs> Who wants to get married? Me. And even if I do want to get married, I can't marry Bob. He's already married. Bob got his wife, Joy, and her husband, and left the house when she found out I was pregnant. But I still cannot marry you. Vicky! You mean that your married boyfriend is responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, and I'm so glad he's the father of my baby. Because he's huge and rich. I mean, he's loaded! Yes, loaded and irresponsible too. How about Vicky? Why? Why now? But hold on, if the whole idea was not to trap him with the pregnancy, so why did you do it? You could say that I did it to get back to that his stupid wife. For the slap she gave me the other day. But when I realized I was pregnant, I said to myself, Vicky, you can as well take advantage of this. <laughs> Vicky, seriously, I don't understand. I mean, I don't get it. What don't you understand? If having this child is going to guarantee me a family state in God's spell, so why not go ahead and have a baby and get loaded? I'll be made for life, you know. <laughs> Why are you giving me this milk now?
Are you even took time in coming here? Why are you being so careless? What? You are so incredible. So now I'm being careless? What about you? You should have thought of using protection. Oh, it takes you to make a baby, you know. So Jen, what are you talking about? The text message. Jane stumbled on the message. What? Yeah. The message you sent, she read it. Now all hell has broken loose. Well, I've never heard of you saying what you don't know will kill you, right? What are you driving at? What are you saying? Very simple. Your wife shouldn't have gone snooping in your phone. Yeah, if she hadn't done that, she wouldn't have found out about the baby. Poor thing. Oh, she'll be devastated by now. That's what you're saying? You are practically ruining my marriage right now. And you have the guts to tell me that nonsense? Paul, what do you want me to say? What has happened has happened. Actually, God was coming for her. Excuse me. You don't need to say that. Just listen to me. I should have known you were trying to Go get an abortion. If you think you're going to trap me with that pregnancy, you've got it all wrong. And whilst you're at it, because if she does, you are in complete trouble. <laughs> okay, baby. Good night. Love for your kisses, <laughs> That was Richard, right? Yes, Mama. He called to see you today. That was nice of him. <laughs> that young man loves you so much. Mama, I love him too. Are you sure you love him as much as he does? Ah, uh -uh, Mama. Why are you asking a question like that? I do. Mama, I'm surprised you're asking this kind of question. <laughs> Pardon me, Mama. Pardon me, my daughter. Mm. It's just that. Have you been able to tell him about David? Have you told him David is your son? Mama, not again now. We've talked about this thing before. I've not told him and I don't intend to tell him. Maybe why? Maybe I still don't know why. Don't you, haven't you seen these two people? David and Richard. They are born dead. Mama, that's because I told him David is an orphan. You did what? Mama, I told him David is the son of my late sister who died in an accident with her husband. My God. I don't know what you expect me to do. Baby, why did you do that? Why? Are, are you out of your mind? Mama, please don't look at me. Kesha, will you shut up? Baby, you want to tell me you are planning to get into marriage with such a deep close line hanging over your neck? What do you expect me to do? Eh? What do you expect me to do? If I tell Richard the truth, he will run away just like Kenneth did. Please, Mama, I love Richard and I don't want to lose him. Baby, baby, why do I get this now? Why do I get this much? That you are about to make a very grievous mistake. Mama. Yes. Mama, I'm not making a mistake. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I Mama, I know what I'm doing. Mama, I'm tired. I want to rest. Yeah. Mama, I'm tired. I want to rest. Hello. Hello, madam. Please, how may I be of help to you? Actually, we're here in search of a beautiful wedding dress for a princess like me for my wedding. <laughs> you are in the right place. You have wonderful things that look very perfect on you. But first of all, let me say congratulations. Thank you. Oh, Vicky. <laughs> you can call me Vicky. Are you the manager of this place? No. Don't you think calling the manager would be the best bet? You have no time to waste. 
Okay, madam. You can have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. I will get her. Thank you very much. Tom. Son, and who is this girl with you? Well, mom, this is Debbie, the girl I told you about. What? You mean that this insipid looking girl? Is the girl you've been telling me about? The girl you told me you want to get married to? Uh, yes, Mom. And before you ask, she has no pedigree. But she suits me just fine. Just fine. Baby and I love each other very much. Very, very much. <laughs> A hanger on the daughter of nobody. Why would she love you when your status as the son of a wealthy family, Griffith's family, is a relief to her? Excuse me, ma'am, I take exceptions. Close that gutter you call a mom. Who told you you could speak when I'm speaking? Oh, have you no iota of lust? What is all this? What is all this? You don't have to treat her like that, no? For her sake, does it mean anything to you that I love her? Oh God, Mom, this is unfair. This is unfair! Hey, why you don't get it? What is unfair here is that you have reached far beneath your status and class. That you could come up boldly to introduce a god of trash in the name of a person to your mother. And I say, over my dead body, will it happen? Not in my lifetime. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Mrs. Real first. And may I know what you are doing in this place? <laughs> as you can see, I work here. I work here as the manager of this place. And who made you the manager of this prestigious place? I can see from the expression on your faces that you can't believe that the gutter, slutty, trashy girl, like you used to call me six years ago, could do so well for herself as to earn the position of a manager in this prestigious place like you call this, right? Whoever the made you the manager of this place did not throw you a mother. Yes, you killed my son. What? Mother, Debbie, what is this obnoxious hag talking about? What? Mother, please, don't, don't, don't you think you've said enough to her? Let's, let's... No, I've not started with this prostitute yet. This prostitute came to my house, trapped my soul with false pregnancy just to 
I saw that you report from oh, me. Please, ma, my pregnancy was not fake. Yes, my pregnancy wasn't fake at all. As a matter of fact, evidence of that pregnancy is alive and kicking in my house. You know what? I regretted ever meeting your son. I regretted ever meeting you or entering into that devilish Rufus family of yours that ruined my life. The time is up. Get out. Debbie. Walk it! What? Get out. You mean you want to throw me out of this place? Oh, sure, madam. She can do that, boss lady. Get out. Do you know I can end this business in a minute? Do you know I can end you in a minute? Get out! You don't talk to me! Why don't you get out? Get out from here, you hide! No! I can end you too! Get out! You are very stupid! No sense! No sense! Mama, tell me what is it? Huh? Mama. You look as if you saw a ghost. Is there anything the matter? Mama, you won't believe who I saw today. Who did you see? Who? Mama, I saw Brian's mother. Brian's mother? Brian's mother, Mama. How? Where? Huh? Mama, she came to the shop today to purchase a wedding gown for Esther. I think, I think Esther is getting married. Oh, cut off that part. What did she do to you? Mama. I hope she didn't do anything to, to trouble you. Mama, she insulted and humiliated me. Mama, she read all sorts of insults on me today. Mama, she called me a murderer. Eh? Mama, she said I killed her son. Hey. Mama, Mama, the one that hurts me the most is that Richard was there and he had everything. Oh, Mama, Richard what do I do there. now? My world has come to an end. Everything is ruined. Richard will never forgive me. What do I do? What do I do? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. Debbie, you best show your face at my place. I knew you were going to come, but I was just wondering how long it was going to take you. Good digging material to girls like you. Do they ever give up their gold digging? Richard, please. Don't be upset. Are you sure my face here all this way? Because I wanted to give you time to calm down with this. You must have some guts. You told me a whole bunch of lies. And you were back there every last. Said you were giving me time to calm down. Is this another way to tell me you don't have an act of shame? Richard, please. Just listen to me. I can explain. Please. 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 To have shown me the kind of woman I was about to involve myself with. A lying, bold cheat. You then deny your own son just to smear me into marrying you. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. With your kind of reputation, Debbie, this could just be one of your numerous lies. I beg of you to leave my house now, please. Richie. Hi. Yes, of course. Of course, Richard, it didn't even take you time to replace me with, with, with this thing. Do you know what? Don't wasting my time apologizing to you. Who is she? Richie. My girlfriend. Your girlfriend.
mistakes in her life and the worst of them all is ever thinking I could deny you <laughs> you're my miracle you're my sunshine you're everything everything I've got in this wicked and miserable life <laughs> tell me And I know she's here. I want to talk to her, please. I really need to talk to her badly. I need her to understand that I'm, 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 I'm sorry for what I have done, and I really mean it this time. I need her to understand. Understand what? For what on earth is there for Jane to understand other than the fact that you do not appreciate the woman you married? How could you, Bob? How could you do that to Jane, knowing how much she loves you? I am ashamed of myself. I, I'm sorry. And that is why I'm here to try and plead. I really need to talk to her real bad. I want to tell her I'm sorry and I really mean it this time. Please. Farewell, not too late, Bob. Jane doesn't want to see you. She doesn't want to speak with you either. I need you to talk to her for me, please. Don't I look miserable enough? Can you not see I'm suffering? And that I need her back in my life. I cannot do without Jane. I'm lost totally. Clara, I know you can talk to her, please. Just talk to her. I'm so foolish. I know what you're going through. I don't think you do, Clara. Listen, I may not be married, but I know how it feels for someone you love to betray you the way Bob has done. And my dear, he is your husband. You must forgive him. But why? Clara, if I was the one who had cheated on Bob, would he forgive me? Why is it that we women are expected to forgive and forget every time we are hurt and cheated on by them? I don't know, sweetheart. Maybe it's the society we live in. Oh, maybe we women are made of sterner stuff. But honestly, that is so unfair. <laughs> hey, my cousin, life itself is generally unfair. But who cares? Anyway, I'm sure you wouldn't want to give up now and allow that woman to fully come in and take over your home and your place as Bob's wife. Ah, I thought of so much. So, going back to your question, why? Number one answer is, you have to forgive your husband because of your son. I know you wouldn't want Victor to go through the insecurities of a broken home. Secondly, my dear cousin, you have to forgive your husband because despite everything that has happened, I know that you still are in love with him. I'm right. Hmm?
plug in show one to begin. I've done you wrong. I've hurt you bad. It is. I'm forsaking all of this. That's what it means. It means that and more. I'm sorry. Let's just say I'm an imperfect person. I'm weak. Nine is an imperfect one. I know one thing for sure. That if you leave me, going to be lost. I need you around. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. How can I say I won't forgive you? We promised to love each other forever. Yes, we did. Suicidal stigma can be a danger when you're accused of one thing or another and made to suffer, even when it's not your fault and they know it's not. Still they won't let you be Even though you try to let them see that you are Excuse me, I'm so sorry Do I know you from somewhere? Um, no, I don't think yes, so Yes, I do You were the girl that visited Richard the other day Yes <laughs> Congratulations on your recognition But um, I don't have anything to say to my ex's girlfriend No, 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 no You got it all wrong Richard is my brother not his girlfriend. What? Yes. I realized you jumped to the wrong conclusion that day. So I'm not I've been meaning to call you to talk to you. Why don't you just go somewhere, have a drink and sit down and talk about this? Look, um, look, I'm really very sorry about what happened the other day, but I think that's all. Please, please, let's just, just can you give me five minutes? Let me get what I bought, please. Okay. Thank you. I'm so sorry about what happened between you and my brother. I mean, before I got back into the country, all our phone conversations were about it. Maybe this, maybe that. He really loved you. I love him, and I still do love him so much. I'm really sorry I had to lie to him. But hey, the last fiancé I had dumped me because his mom could not take it. I understand. I know it can't be easy being a young widow with a child, especially in this society that we live in. It's a darling. You don't really understand what it feels like to be a widow at a very young age. I mean, the pain, the stigma, the fear that you could just end up marrying some old man that you don't even love. I mean, it's, it's crazy. But you know that's a lie, right? That's a big lie. I mean, your life doesn't have to end just because you're young so with a child. Well, I realize all that now, you see. I now know that my past cannot stop me from achieving or being what I want to be. Exactly. It's just so painful that I had to learn the hard way and lose the man I love. <laughs> oh. But hey, what can I say? Don't worry. Everything will be alright, okay? Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Alright. So cute. Oh, thank you. How are you? My God, Richie, do you ever stop walking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, sis. You're the best. I'm bored. Oh, really? What are you working on? 
Well, I was just trying to replace some adverts for the replacement of the manager of Zoe. Since Debbie will no longer be working with us, and the other girl, Vicky, she's so incompetent and unreliable. Right, but well, don't you feel sorry for Debbie, considering the fact that she has lost everything, including her job? Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of Debbie, I ran into her yesterday at the shopping mall. Did I tell you? No. Well, I did. Um, we got to talking. She feels so sorry for what she did. Not that, and from what I perceived, she's just as miserable as you are. Well, I must applaud your sense of perception. But the truth be told, it would be so useless for you discussing anything that has to do with Debbie with me. If there be anything I hate huh. the most in my life, is lies and liars. You know what they say, brother? Love forgives all. And it forgives a multitude of sins. Can't you find it in your heart to forgive her? Hey, just a little bit, brother. Oh. Please, just... I'm sorry, sis, I can't. You're miserable, you David! De David! David, where are you going to? Hello, Debbie. Hi, Richard. You can't believe how much I've missed this little man here. Obviously, he misses you too. I guess so. I want you to know that. I've missed you so much. And I've been thinking if we can start it all over again. I would like that, Richard. Really? Yes. Okay. My name is Richard Zeno. Can I get to meet you because I'm madly in love with you? <laughs> My name is Debbie. I'm a young widow. I have a six-year-old son. His name is David, and I'm very, very proud of him. I've had my heart shattered several in the past, and I hope you heal my pain. Always, Debbie. Always. I will love you and love you forever till death do us part. I love you, Debbie. You too.